A lot of people ask me if the Indian Scout Bobber is a good first bike. Simple answer is yes. Video's over, like, comment, subscribe if you vibe. But seriously though, stick around if you want to hear my reasons why it's a great first bike. Now, a little disclaimer, who you are as a person is just as important as what specific bike you want to get as your first bike. If you're anything like I was in my teens and early 20s, I mean, if you get a 200 horsepower leader bike, you're just going to eat yourself off into a tree. But if you're older and you've already learned your lessons, then you can probably get by with something that you'll grow into. First off, the low seat height and center of gravity on the bike make it easy to push around. It feels solid and planted beneath you. Anyone but the shortest of short people should be able to easily flat foot it anywhere. The low center of gravity also helps make the bike feel lighter as well, so you don't have that top heavy wobble or instability that some shorter riders have to deal with when coming to a stop or pushing it around. I knew that the Scout had a lot of power, so I approached riding with respect and a healthy fear. Throttle is ride by wire on bobbers, but it has a great feel to it. Some ride by wire throttles have an on off feel that can catch unprepared riders by surprise, but Indian really knocked the smoothness of the throttle out of the park. I took a slow approach to getting up to speed anyway, so I didn't really fully open up the throttle for a while. Instead, I would just ratchet it up incrementally every day until I got used to the feeling. Even cracked wide open, the bike reacts intuitively and doesn't send you to the moon. The transmission and clutch feel on the bike are fantastic. The friction zone is almost like right in the middle of the lever action, and the release is maybe three quarters of the way out. So it's easy to feel the bite and start throttling out. It also makes riding in traffic a bit more bearable. The torque on the scouts mean that rolling around in the friction zone is pretty simple. It's a lot easier than some of those baby ass bikes they have you ride at non Harley sponsored MSF courses. I will say that the clutch lever does take some pressure to pull in, but that could have just been my bike. You really, you gotta grip it and rip it sometimes. Now, Indian does make a smaller version of the Scout and Scout Bomber lines called the 60. Scout 60 is a 5-speed bike, making 22 less horsepower than the full-size Scouts. Other than the smaller engine displacement and transmission, it's functionally the same bike. If you're really nervous about starting on a 100 horsepower bike, you can get the Scout 60 and save yourself some money. When I started, I knew I was committed to the motorcycle lifestyle, and I didn't want to spend even more money when I felt like I wanted to upgrade. Your situation may be different, so... In the end, it's up to your discretion. To sum everything up, the Indian Scout Bobber is a great bike for beginners. It won't overwhelm you at first, and it has so much room for growth that even after all this time, I'm still not riding this bike to the full potential it has. It's solid, easy to control, and gives great feedback, which is exactly what a new rider needs. What was your first bike? Tell me your story in the comments, and as always, like this video and subscribe if you like the vibe.